nervous flyers might want to avoid these airports with the scariest landings in the world. Reagan International Airport, while flying is an extremely safe mode of travel, that doesn't mean that you won't experience a hair-raising plane ride every now and again. In fact, at these 12 airports, nerve-wracking rides are the norm. Some are in incredibly remote locations, while others are close to cities may be a little too close for comfort. First up, Reagan International Airport flying into, or out of, our nation's capital can cause some jarring rides. This Washington, D.C. airport borders two no-fly zones, and pilots often have to swerve to avoid flying over the Pentagon and the White House. In 2008, a flight accidentally swooped into one of the no-fly zones, and all of Congress had to be evacuated. Another flight into Reagan, this one in 2015, had a scary encounter with a flock of birds. Paro Airport, Bhutan, this airport, situated in the Himalayas, is considered one of the world's most dangerous. The number of pilots qualified to fly into Paro Airport is in the single digits. Those pilots have to swoop around small hills to get to this landing strip tucked between 16,000-foot mountains. Barra Airport, situated on a tiny island to the west of Scotland, also called Barra, this is the world's only airport where the runways are on the beach. As cool as that might sound, landing on the sand can make for a bumpy landing, and the roughness of the ride often depends on how the tides have behaved that day. In fact, the airport can only operate during a low tide because the runways are underwater during high tide. Chicago Midway International Airport Chicago Midway Airport opened in 1927, and its runways are about 2,000 feet shorter than runways at newer airports, leaving less wiggle room for pilots. As if that weren't enough, chilly weather often causes harrowing flying conditions and requires planes to be de-iced. Princess Juliana Airport Landings at Princess Juliana Airport can be just as scary for people outside the plane as for those in it. Planes fly incredibly close to a public beach before skimming the airport fence and touching down on the Caribbean island of St. Martin. John F. Kennedy International Airport this airport's proximity to both LaGuardia and Newark airports can make navigating the New York City skies a challenge. On top of that, noise restrictions that have been in place since 1964 force pilots to make a tricky maneuver known as the Carnarcy approach, named after a Brooklyn neighborhood, to land on a certain runway. Pilots descend into John F. Kennedy with only 5 miles of visibility. John F. Kennedy may be one of America's scariest airports, but its neighbor, LaGuardia, holds the title of the worst, but maybe not for long. Gibraltar Airport, the runway of this airport, situated on the southern coast of Spain, stretches out over the Bay of Gibraltar, so there's no room for error for incoming planes. And that's if planes make the landing at all turbulent weather often strikes the bay and forces pilots to redirect flights to other airports in Spain, Morocco, or even Portugal. Madeira Airport, pilots require special training to land at this airport, which sits on Madeira Island in the middle of the Atlantic, near Portugal and Morocco. The descent often terrifies passengers as the plane heads straight for the island's mountains before turning sharply to align with the direction of the runway. Tenzing Hillary Airport one glance at this runway and you can see why this Nepal airport is easily one of the world's scariest. Tenzing Hillary Airport, named after the first ever climbers of Mount Everest, services the mountain's base camp, and its terrifying runway seems to disappear right off the side of the mountain into thin air. John Wayne Airport, takeoffs from this California airport are often so abrupt that they've been compared to a missile launch. Since the airport is surrounded by residential communities, Strict noise restrictions are in place. Because of this, the planes dart up steeply and quickly before cutting the thrusters, which can be jarring and unexpected for passengers. Queenstown Airport, the massive mountain ranges surrounding this New Zealand airport, along with buffeting winds, often make for a nerve-wracking descent. The plane's wings are forced to work overtime, as the plane requires flap adjustments to make the sharp banks into the lakeside valley. Sometimes the pilot will even have to circle back up and make multiple attempts to land. San Diego International Airport, this California airport is located downtown, 
which occasionally makes for a nail-biting descent as the plane plunges right toward the heart of the city. Winds from the west, in mountains to the north and east, add to the fear factor. Had enough of scary airports?